Hello friends, today is number two of March and it's the Wednesday, the year 2022. And this is Irwind and Peter making a video. And now I'm reading it. Killing the moving ballast like yesterday. And the thing is, never change a drawing. Now we just did it. This is a very good rule because if you do, you get into a lot of trouble. On the other hand, Putin's war may get me into much worse trouble than chasing and drawing wood. So I changed the drawing anyway. My original plan after Dublin Cape Horn was to sail to Japan and the Pacific Northwest, but with Putin's threat of nuking, I changed all the drawings to make the board more suitable to cruise northern Patagonia in Chile is justified. X next, the sailing canoe will combine the both centerboard and the beach kills. That's why I didn't do it before, you know, because I like shallow drafts and shallow beach kills is not so very good for windward ability. But combined with the both centerboard, I get an efficient lateral area. So this is the combination with good things. And I didn't think of combination before. The bilge keys let the boat more safely to take the ground. That's the reason, one of the reasons for the bilge keys. And also the bilge keys provide simple stability with the ballast slowdown. down. The price of the added bilge keys is that they will make a slow, slower light wind. That's because it's more wetted surface. But we do the best of what we can with that too. So yesterday, we just like to build kids. But now, I got this idea last night. I cut it, I make it a bit shorter. And, but I like the surface resting on the ground, but then I make it wider, shorter and wider. And the surface get less and but then it would be too heavy. But then on the upper part, I don't put that in the upper part of it. I just drill a little hole and make it into air. I pass it in anyway. So that's that idea. And now I have started to take this thing off. So this I have been up with much trouble. But thanks to these tools, like the multi tool, this one, I'm fine. And this works too, but it makes a lot of noise. a big sucking thing here and a small smaller sucking one to make it clean and today I sort this oh we must not forget this one see it goes by the air the handy <coughs> so this is my hero they, this this is the one so helps me to all the work you know and with electricity and with air and everything. And this is the sucking and this is the sucking. So, thank you very much for today. Hello. This is Irwin again. What I forgot to tell you is this. The bow center board is very good when you put it down, going against the wind. But it's equally important when it's up, like in this position. Because then the boat gets a lee hand and it's stable sailing downwind. And for a cruising man, sailing downwind in the trades is important things. And often they wait, you know, until they got a good wind and then go away. And an ordinary boat, they got weather hand. But 
for a boat with weather helm, sailing in trade winds, it's not stable. So moving the lateral area back, the boat gets stable sailing downwind. So not only is this important going to windward, but it's equally important going downwind. So this is just a little what not everyone thinks about advantage of a bow centre boat. So thank you for this.